Welcome back to the Let's Play with Honey in Minecraft. Let's see. I think I've got all the full stacks. I just come back with all of my loads from the um, the cave spider spawner. I've already thrown up some spider eyes, replaced my water buckets up here, and on my way back I saw the pile of sugar canes, so I went ahead and knocked them down. They were just, well, they were all fully grown with all that time, so hey. That's how I got those bookcases. Let them grow, let them grow, let them grow. Anyway, what I thought I'd do is go ahead and finish off those last two levels, two or three levels. I really am shooting for around 50 because the um, the good enchants seem to really take a lot. And at that, it's a complete, you know, gamble. Just roll the bones and hope you get what you want. And what I want is Silk Touch. I uh, am not too interested in the fact that Silk Touch can move uh, spawners, although I think I will go get a spawner, just even though it'll become a pig spawner, just because it could be useful some other time. Alright, I only have these two partials. I'm going to have all the wool my heart desires. And the reason I get a pig spawner would be... I don't know, set it up in the nether. The nether, you know, what the, the main thing you're missing in the nether is food. So to have that wouldn't be too bad. Speaking of nether, I want to head there next. And I want to get, uh, oh, I wouldn't mind getting some ice, which of course would mean traveling to find uh, an ice snowy biome. So I wouldn't mind getting some ice. I think I'll take one axe. Uh, I wouldn't mind getting some ice just because if they don't nerf it, you can get water in the nether with an ice block right now. So that gives all sorts of interesting possibilities to uh, legitimately terraforming the nether. So I think that's a, a very intriguing idea. Now I know that Silk Touch is probably going to be changed like crazy. <laughs> but, you know, I might as well get what I can with it before they do that. Anyway, I also want to let you guys know that I have thought about... Uh, I actually did think about doing a mob spawner instead of my uh, instead of my spider <laughs> I totally blanked out there for a second instead of my spider trap there but the problem with um, oh I made a second pair of boots I wanted a another helm alright well I've got boots to spare I wanted uh, to have the spider spawner Mostly because, again, potion making. It is an option to uh, you know, to make poisons. Now, I'm not too big on poisons myself, but with the splash damage, etc. And we don't, you know, that could be interesting for, uh, you know, throwing at a creeper or something. But we don't know what's going to happen in the future. They may give us an anti-venom that starts off with spider eyes and some in some way. Also wanted to show you guys I did finish off the porch and I went ahead and kept with the theme of the fence gates in the middle. I kind of like it that way. I am purposing not to get my melons because it's just a one slice per. I'll wait until they've got either another pre-release or the official release done. I still have over a stack of melons. So there we go. I still have to move tons of stuff in. I've only just done what I had on me, but I'm going to go ahead ooh, and grab some more bread. Let's eat that one. I'm going to go ahead and like I said, I'm going to head to the nether. See, I've got loads of watermelon right now. 
And uh, I think I'll go there for my last, what is it, two levels or so. And that's because I figure I might as well get some more, um, oh, blaze rods for blaze powder. And of course, while I'm there, it doesn't hurt to get some more of that nether brick, etc. I should probably take some of this stuff home with me. Anyway, I thought it'd be good to take, uh, you know, get some of the nether brick, nether fence, kind of while I wait. I don't know that it's actually going to go any faster than what I was doing in the um, spider spawner trap killing area, but at least it will be different, and sometimes different can just feel faster. So that's what I'm going to do. I'll probably just, hello pigman, you must die. I will probably just uh, be quiet for a bit. Oh, I've got a sword there too. I should just use you first. Hey, don't get pushy, buddy. I, uh, eh, yeah, I don't really need everything here. Eh, I'll leave that. I really hate to just say, well, let's cue another montage. So, I don't know what I'll end up doing. I'm definitely going to just sort of be quiet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Once they be quiet. Uh, I will probably just uh, quietly go through. Oh, yeah, let me tell you about the nether wart. Look at what I did. Ooh, do you want to kill me too? I went ahead and uh, I, I forgot about this actually. I ran at back here and I harvested up all of this so I would have it for my potion making and then it can be growing while I am here killing things. I hear you pigmen. Oinky oink. I did the same thing over here. Oh, see, I knew I heard you. The creepers of the nether, I tell you what. Okay, I did the same thing over here. I got all of this farmed up, and then it can just continue growing while I'm farming in here. Might as well. I'm going to need nether wart like crazy for potion makings. So, like I said, I kind of hate the idea of just queuing up another montage. Any pigmen around this corner? Okay. I kind of hate the idea of queuing up another montage, but uh, I'll either transition, maybe just show some fast forward moments of my experience as I go, or you'll hear some groovy tunes. It just depends on how long it takes for the next bit. So I need another level and a half, two levels. See you in a bit.
Okay. So, I would like to fill you in on what happened since you last saw me falling to my death right there. Basically, Fraps fail happened. I, um... I didn't realize, because the heat of the moment, um, Fraps actually crashed. And, um... So, I came back, uh, just to fill you in, and got all of my stuff, and recovered all the gravel tower and, uh, all that good stuff over here, and, um... I have just about everything, I think, except for my experience. I actually have more now because I was doing this while I ranted and uh, got a couple levels. I only had 10. So I lost 39 experience levels. And that is very painful. I had a big rant about um, excessive death penalties. And I logged out. And when I logged out, it's when I realized that Fraps was no longer running. And I looked, and the only... The last footage I have is me falling to my death. I literally don't have anything else. So, I uh, loaded back up, and I'm filling you in now. So... Losing 39 levels of experience is really hard. I'm not going to lie. That is not pretty. Um, I definitely missed it up over it. I'm not going to say that I cried much. Um, but it's hard. It definitely is hard. That said, it's probably a good thing I don't have my rant recorded. Because... Um, the fact is, I don't know if it was a death penalty. It, it could have been a bug. Um, it, it also... It could have burned. I don't know. Do experience orbs burn? I, I've never really done anything with experience. Um, uh, I certainly haven't died in lava or anything since um, experience came out. So, it's possible. You know, that gas was shooting me all the way down. There was um, uh, netherrack lit on fire around me. It's very possible that those experience orbs just burned, I guess. Um, I really just don't know. So whether it was a bug or excessive death or penalty or you know burning up in flames, I really don't know. Um, but what I do know is rule number one of the nether, and really any kind of travel, is you don't, you don't go with anything on you that you're not willing to lose. And I thought I was willing to lose everything, and I was just thinking in terms of bits. Okay, I can lose my armor. If I lose some torches and some tools and some oddball nether brick, so what? But I'm not used to thinking in terms of experience. So, you know, we have to keep that in mind too. Use your experience and, um, you know, don't, don't hoard it. Or if you do hoard it, be careful. I know, you know, things like this can happen. You can dig straight down and burn up in lava with a stack of iron ingots and full diamond armor. And you know what? If I did that, I'd show it. Because that's part of the game. And you just have to recover. Or you can pull a Leroy Jenkins move and, uh, you know, shoot straight up in the middle of unknown territory with angry pigment all around and a ghast shooting you and think that's a good idea and uh, you got to be prepared to lose because that's what happened so what I'm going to do now is uh, take a little break and then I'm going to crawl back into my spider spawner and uh, work on grinding that experience again so as far as next week guys 
I'm not going to promise you three episodes. I'm going to try to still get three episodes out. It just depends on how hard this is to um, to regrind. So, I truly do hope you had fun. Even if it was just face palming at that crazy woman <laughs> shimmying up a gravel uh, pile to uh to face certain doom until next time guys <laughs>